Police are seeking their services and the sorry. Police are seeking the support of the public in trying to find two offenders that doused a 17-year-old male with a fluid and set him on a light at an address at Cheston Road, Parra Hills West, at around about 11:30 p.m. last night. At the time, the 17-year-old boy was in the shed with another friend. Five other friends had left to go and purchase some food. At around about this time, two unknown men have approached the boy in the shed and doused him with an unknown flammable fluid. The other male was then set in the light. As a result of this, the youth was taken to the Royal Adelaide Hospital in a critical condition. He is currently in a stable condition in the intensive care unit and will be transferred to the Burns unit today. At this time, we have not been able to speak to the youth due to his injuries. His parents were home at the time and did not see anything. We have spoken to his friends that were present at the time and that uh, returned after purchasing the food. We seek the support of the neighbours or friends that may have any information regarding this attempt on this boy's life. We ask them to come forward and to contact Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000. At this stage we're looking for an offender who is described as adult male wearing black long sleeve top, black track suit pants and black shoes. The second offender is a male offender wearing white short sleeve top, blue horizontal stripes and black track suit pants. We ask anybody that has any information regarding this crime to contact Crime Stoppers. We are seeking the support of anybody that may have seen another vehicle or seen anybody running from the scene and uh, we ask them to come for it straight away. Currently Elizabeth Detectives are following up some lines of inquiry. We are still trying to work out a motive for the crime. At this stage we are following up certain lines of inquiry but uh, we certainly wish to speak to the victim once he is able to be spoken to and we hope to do that within the next 24 hours. Okay, any questions? So um, they weren't known to the victim? At this stage we haven't been able to speak to the victim uh, to see whether he knew the two men. We've spoken to the other young lad that was uh, present. He doesn't know who they were. However, he was able to provide a description. So you, at the moment you think this was random? At this stage we're working on a couple of theories where we believe it wasn't random. However, until we speak to the victim, um, that may be able to confirm which uh, lines of inquiry we need to follow up. Have the parents of the victim said there have been any um, sort of attacks on the property in recent weeks or anything leading up to this? Not that I'm aware of, no. We've certainly uh, been speaking to the parents, uh, we have their concerns. This is a cowardly and despicable act and we seek the support of the community in uh, apprehending these offenders. Do you think drugs are involved in any way? At this stage there's nothing to indicate that. However, until we speak to the victim, we're keeping all lines of inquiry open and we're looking at all options. Is what do these people face? Is this a clear case of attempted murder at all? At this stage, the injuries are serious. Um, they're not life-threatening. However, we'll make a determination regarding possible charges uh, at a later time once we're full extent of the injuries to the victim is known. But the, there must, if you set someone light, clearly there's an intention to do some. That's if not seriously harm and kill them, isn't it? That's right. It uh, could either seriously disfigure them or uh, kill them. And it was lucky due to the good support and uh, attendance of the South Australian Ambulance that he was able to get to hospital in a uh, very quick manner. Is racially motivated at all? Uh, no, we don't believe that to be uh, racially linked. So just to be clear, you don't believe it was random, uh, but the, the, the person that was with him didn't know the man, but it's, it's a... It's a likely possibility that the victim knew the man? Well, until we speak to the victim, we do not know uh, if he knows the two offenders. Uh, he may be able to provide us a motive for this attack. At, at this stage, until we get to speak to him, we're following up all lines of inquiry and we're open to all suggestions. However, we are keeping in mind that we do not believe this to be a random attack because of targeting this type of uh, youth at these home premises in the rear uh, garage. 
would indicate that there was some knowledge about his presence being there. Your role, you see a lot. How would you describe dousing someone in a flammable liquid, then setting them alight? As I said, it was a cowardly and despicable act, and uh, we certainly seek the support of the community in uh, apprehending these offenders. Does this teenager know what police know? Okay. At this stage, I do not know. Um, some family members have um, said that uh, if the police don't get there first, they'll, they'll be seeking their own revenge um, for this attack. What's the police's response to that? At this stage, we ask the family to uh, support us, which they have been, and to provide us any information that they may have, and uh, we will certainly uh, go through the justice system and put them before the courts. Are you aware of how he was actually how they doused the flames on him? Was, he, was it the fire brigade that did it, or was he able to get into a shower? He was able to get into a shower and um, able to put the flames out with the support of his parents. Right. And uh, is, is there a whole gamut of, of charges that could be in, in relation to this? At this stage, uh, we're looking at aggravated uh, cause serious harm. However, you know, it could be upgraded depending on the condition of the victim and the uh, possible outcome of uh, the injuries. Uh, as we all know, burns are a very serious uh, injury and uh, the threat of infection or anything can have a lasting effect. And that's something that can be discussed with uh, medical staff down at the Royal Adelaide Hospital and they'll be able to give you a better prognosis. Do you have um, just any sort of idea of where the burns mainly are, whether it was sort of legs or...? Uh, they were basically the arms, hands, face, the back, and uh, around the neck. Do you know if there was any exchange of words before um, <coughs> At this stage, no. We believe that the uh, two offenders have uh, walked up into the garage and then doused the victim with the fluid, and uh, then the other person is then sitting alight. How lucky is he to be in a stable condition you know, the day after, um, considering that such a large part of his body was um, burned? He's extremely lucky. Um, obviously, no good support from uh, the medical staff at the hospital has helped. Um, and there was quick action by his parents in able to uh, render the flames by putting them out. Um, so, obviously, he's a very lucky man. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.